Hey, it's John Group from WildmanTraining.com. Hey, I got a question for you. Well, actually, I think I know why America is overweight. Well, besides that overeating and lack of exercise. You ever look at the front of some of these magazines? What I want to know is where's the real man magazine? Every one of these magazines, and I know why, so you buy them. They got an athlete on there or a celebrity. Their job is to train. That's their job. Who couldn't look that good doing nothing but training? I read an article about Michael Phelps, how he was, I think he ate like 10,000, 15,000 calories a day, something crazy like that. So somebody's going to grab this book and say, hey, look, Michael Phelps, he's skinny. I'm going to do what he's eating. Yeah, and before you know it, they're 300 pounds instead of swimming in the pool, they're walking in the pool. I mean, people believe this. What I want to know is, why aren't there real people on these magazines? I'd rather read about a real man that works or a real woman that has a job that's a mother or, or, or a guy that's a father that works a lot of hours, either a stressful job or any kind of job, and still finds time to maintain a high level of health and fitness, something that's important to them. Guys that aren't jacked up on roids or human growth hormones like these celebrities and have all, whatever they need, all the money, all the greatest trainers, all the greatest supplements. I want to know from real people, how, why is it that we don't have the fittest fireman, the fittest policeman, the fittest truck driver? How about this one? The healthiest and fittest doctor, I'm not talking Dr. Oz. I'm talking a fit doctor, not one that runs a few miles. Or I want a physically fit doctor. How about a physically fit nurse? To me, these are what I want to read about. I want to read the programs of people that have jobs and the kind of programs they have instead of ones that nobody can live up to unless you're an athlete, unless you are getting paid to do that. I'm out.